Hello everyone, so this is Unit 2's video response. Um, question number one, how do you view the concept of servant leadership? Um, for me, servant leadership has definitely been more defined since I've been in this program. Um, I know that last semester I took a leadership course and we talked specifically on servant leadership and so it definitely opened up the door um, for more learning and application. So, you know, servant leadership is just exactly what I think the 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 words mean, servant. So I'm definitely serving the people that I'm leading. And what that basically looks like is if I have a staff, right, and I, I, I kind of do right now, I definitely want to know, you know, what's going on in their lives um, to help them be successful in our program. So um, I, I, I like to sit down and talk to, uh, you know, the people that I am leading, um, definitely getting a feel from their background, you know, where they come from, some of their ideology, their philosophies, um, because that will ultimately help me um, make decisions that are best suited for them. And, you know, when something comes up where you know, ethical or morality is questioned, my first thought is always, how is this going to affect the people that I am leading? Um, and I think that, you know, John Calipari does an excellent uh, job explaining just that. I mean, you're you're expecting your team to be completely 100% um, when they come to practice, when they're in games, when they're in conditioning, when they're in study hall, um, even when they're in press conferences. But how are we going <clears> to, <throat> excuse me, how are we going to make that happen? And if there's anything that's lacking on our end, how is it or how am I as their leader going to fix it? Um, I think that, uh, do you believe it is possible as a head coach, physical educator, athletic director, or sports manager to be a servant leader? I absolutely believe that, you know, that is the, the initial role. Again, if I have people that are, that I want to buy into our system, that I want to, uh, you know, do well and, and I, and I'm worried about them on a holistic type of level, I absolutely believe that you have to be a servant leader. And, you know, one of the best examples that I can give for this question specifically um, is it taking me back to my UTEP days when uh, we had to do conditioning um, during off season. And, you know, in Texas, that heat is a is a whole different type of beast, especially being from California. It was nothing like I've ever experienced before. And in El Paso specifically, we had the dry heat, like Vegas weather, but to me times 10 because it clashed with, you know, Texas. So it was always hot and temperatures rose to about 120 during the summertime. And yet we still have to run outside. How is this even possible? Well, our strength and conditioning coach, he literally completed every single run with us. He completed every single conditioning task with us. Even if it was in the gym, he completed everything with us. And I think that was an example of being a servant leader. I mean, he knew that it was going to be tough, but his philosophy was we, we are a team um, down from, you know, our, our bench players to our practice players to our top players to our coaches. And since he was the one in charge of our conditioning, he made it an effort to say, hey, you guys, you know, I haven't played sports in, in X amount of years, but I'm going to go and stick it out with you guys. And that definitely um, pushed us and that definitely, um, you know, showed uh servant leadership in, and, and it kind of set the tone for our team. Um, so what are the practical ways this could play out in physical education and sport? And I think that, you know, I kind of kind of address this as far as a coaching standpoint. I mean, not every coach obviously has to go out on the court or on the field and do the, do the um, drills with their teams. But I think having their team's best interest in mind, having the player's best interest in mind and understanding, okay, yes, this is the practice plan, but I'm being a servant to you all as well. So I, I want to definitely gauge where you guys are. I want to make sure that 
I'm not overstepping my bounds as far as just following this plan. I have to also assess whether you guys are up to the challenge and up to the task that, the, that this little piece of, piece of paper has. And I think that's kind of like what John Calipari um, talks about. It's kind of like we have this practice plan and, you know, we have all these great ideas of how we're going to get better. But it really starts on starts with what's going on on the outside of sports. And so I think, you know, that's how we can apply that practically to um, the application of physical education and sport. And lastly, what are the benefits and challenges of taking on such a role? I think really just change. That's the main uh, challenge. I mean, you know, you have coaches and you have programs that have done things for so long that when you try to incorporate change, you get a little bit of backlash. And I think that, you know, being a servant leader, and even when we talked about uh, servitude with Jesus, I mean, people just really couldn't understand why he was so giving and why he was servicing other. Why would he be washing the feet of someone else? So I think uh, the backlash and being prepared to stand your ground and uh, ultimately understanding that you are an advocate for those that are following for you and making sure that they understand that you always have their back. Um, even if they left the organization, there there shouldn't be any bad blood. I mean, that's, that's not how we were created. So, I mean, um, I think that's the ultimate challenge, uh, just sticking to your, uh, sticking to your stance and being, um, a servant because at the end of the day, I always, uh, you know, live and breathe the scripture or this, you know, this quote It's you always want to treat others the way that you want to be treated. So that's my stance on servant uh, leadership. And I look forward to everyone else's response.